I am back. We can see that. Welcome back. What, what, what are you doing here? I thought this was, I'm, I'm doing it alone today. Well, why no, do you always have to back into my show? Why don't you wait for your week? You're oh, not really? friends anymore. You're not friends anymore. So, so I'm going to unfriend you. Were we friends to begin with? I thought you I, were I'm my telling you. I saw, I saw it on, on Facebook. Uh, I, I actually don't know if there's such thing as friends on Instagram. Mm. Is that? I'm definitely a, a more of a voyeur of, of, on, on, on TikTok. So sort of... Wait, are we friends at all? I, I, in fact, you know something? I have no idea what you guys mean when you say friends. I keep thinking, are you talking about social connections on, on a computer? Or are you talking about people who are friends? My definition of friends? I have no idea. So, so why don't you clarify this for me? Because it really sort of bothers me. Well, until recently, I thought a friend is anyone I can interact with um, and invite to my home or space and have fun with. But I've come to learn that it's actually different. A friend is definitely someone you can count on. If you can't count on them, they're not your friend. Yeah, interesting. Uh, or, what is your definition? Maybe, maybe they don't agree what you, you're asking them to do. So I mean, I'm not sure that's a good way of assessing it. What do you mean count so on what's them? your definition? I have no clue. I mean, definitely it's not a friend on Facebook. So yeah. and, and to be honest, for, I, th I think for, for me, I don't know for my generation, but for me, I think even my whole generation, creating friends was much easier. Or it looks less complicated to us than for you because it was either uh, based on a family of our parents or it was based on a school uh, or, or a workplace. But there's so many of those things that changed for you um, that, that I'm, I don't know how do you find friends? Are you more lonely than us? And uh, Because I look around at people who I call friends and, and definitely they're not all the same level of closeness to me. But um, I can tell you that, that if I had to now start creating new friends, which, which I have to obviously as the time goes by, uh, I have no idea where I would start. So I have no idea where you guys start because you change jobs often, you change towns often, you spend a lot of time in a non-existent place called cyber world and um, in which you're sort of sort of yourself. So I, I don't understand. How many friends do you have? Exactly. The, the way you feel is exactly how we feel. It's terrifying. And because this is not something you're taught by your parents or in school, it's something you figure out along the way as an adult. And recently I've had, I've, I've had to learn that you need to be intentional about the qualities you want in a friend. Not everyone can be your friend. So personally, I have a list of the things I want in a friend. And then as we interact, I check off those lists. And then depending on whether you meet the list or not, I either upgrade you or down. It's not funny. <laughs> you have yeah, to. I see. So yeah. what you need is a good CRM software. <laughs> I will I will download that CRM because let me tell you something. You will find yourself in a situation and you expect these people to come through for you. Yet in reality, the level you place them in your head is not how they've placed you as a priority in your life. So you'll be disappointed. And no one wants to fall knowing that, you know, uh, thinking that people are going to catch them and you end up falling and, 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 and breaking yourself. So it's it's a uh, that's my system though. I, I didn't read it anywhere. I <laughs> you Zoho? Can share. Yeah. Zoho or Microsoft Dynamics? Which <laughs> oh, there's a very good CRM software called Zoho Begin. It's very good for small, it's excellent for you. Oh, but wait, you have a CRM software, it's called LinkedIn, isn't it? Yes. Or Facebook. Yes. Or, or Maybe isn't that a CRM software? You sort of <laughs> because it's important. I mean friendships last longer than even relationships. So why are we not picky about the friends we let in, but we're picky about our relationships, we're picky about the churches we choose, we're picky about the books we read. I feel like that's a mindset that needs to be redefined. It's not that as long as I sit next to you in a bus and we chat and we're friendly, or we meet in a club and we had a good time, that automatically qualifies you to be my friend. No. Do you meet my value system? Do you, do we, am I making sense? Or what, what's your take on it? I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm 
finding it easy and difficult at the same time to relate to your selection of friends by standards. Um, and in other words, almost like you know exactly what you need as a friend, which I doubt. And uh, because I know I don't know what I need. And I don't know I'm what one I need, but I know what I can't stand. In relationships yeah, with fine. deal breakers, so, yeah. yeah. Maybe your job is to change that person for the better. So, so when you say a relationship and friends and you're dividing this, I can't relate to that because to me, if we don't have a relationship, we can't be friends to start with. So, so a relationship for me is like a relationship between two human beings. Okay. So how can we be friends if we don't have a relationship? So now in this relationship, I, I would hate to have a relationship only with people that are copies of me. And to, to, that they have only, of course, I don't feel equally close to every person because I think some people can't understand me and some people understand me better. Some people I don't agree with their background uh, upbringing and some people I do. So we don't stand for the same things, but at the same time, I, I don't know whether I'm, I'm able to sort of say, my friend needs to be like this, like this, like this. I mean, for sure, amongst two friends I have, or three or five, I would know who not to tell what and who not to count on for anything or count okay, on so for everything. Well, the you know? moment you start who not to tell what, who not to count on, does that still qualify as a as, as friend? That could be an acquaintance because an yeah, acquaintance but, is how we filter. Yeah, yeah of course. Should be, yeah. But, but there are gradations of a friend. You know, like he's like my brother or my sister. This is like very, very close, closer than my brother and oh, sister. Best friend, yes, yeah. Yeah, and then, then after that would be like a good friend and uh, maybe a colleague who I worked along with. And there will be somebody I really value and enjoy spending time with, but we don't talk about private stuff. And then there will be somebody who I can remember their name and invite me for their wedding, but even if they want to talk about private stuff, I hope it's not going to be too long. Now so, that's where the issue is. There's no formalized tier system for friends. Everyone is just a friend and it's up to you to now elevate to close friend, best friend. But that's very important. People, there's a very thin line and the blood lines lead to a lot of confusion and heartbreaks. I thought that's a personal thing, isn't it? Does it have to be uh, standardized across the generation? As long as you know and are aware, because otherwise you will tolerate things that are not good for your soul. Because I personally know people who can't stand late coming, but because of that fear, oh, finding a friend is, is difficult, or I don't want to start from scratch. If your friend repeatedly abuses your value system, then it's not good for you to stay in that friendship. There are 7 billion people in the world. There are people who definitely identify with your value system and go along with those and maybe leave the other one as an acquaintance. I agree. But at the same time, you can't blame me if you don't know how to put your own boundaries. I mean, if I'm 45 minutes late and you're unhappy about it and I write, hey, I'm sorry, I'm late. That's okay. Why are you saying that's okay? I said, why are you disrespecting me? Why are you late? No, I didn't see it that way. I don't care how you see it. Next time you come to see me, you come on time. Or we don't see each other. We just do WhatsApp because you can't come up with the time. So, so nothing wrong. I don't mind you. We can meet once a year. You can send me Christmas cards. You, you see what I'm saying? So, so I think it's a question of... Once a year, I think okay. You, put your, you, you, so have you realized there. without saying it, you've demoted that friend because meeting once a year is not a, a good standard. No, but for if you can't show up, I don't know how long I need to wait. Six months for you to be late or how long? So, so it could be probably end up once a year. What I'm trying to so say you, is, are you guys living in this paranoia that if you're not liked and if you're not uh, appreciated and there are people not saying, well done, bravo to everything you do and that somehow you're a lot of human beings? Because I have a feeling that I've never seen on any of the social media and to tell you the truth, amongst young people very often, in, even amongst my generation, Person saying, why are you like that to me? Why are you being disrespectful? Never. You never hear those things. But the question is, is that honest? It is honest, yes. You have to tell them you're disrespecting me. This is my boundary. Okay. If you don't like it, okay, grow up. We see not I many people. Not... As a friend, but you need to grow up. <laughs> 
that's our 10 minutes for today. Thank you so much. Till the it's next Becoming uncomfortable, huh? It's so much easier to see. No, it is really ten to, minutes. <laughs> to lights and hearts and fires and e, 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 on on your wow. on your social media than to get a hug, man. What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong How with hug? How many friends do you say you have anyway? Sorry. How many friends do you have? On what? In life. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to catch you there. Um, that's a good question. 